Well, hello there. Welcome back to Erlingrot. I'm Mighty Mike, and this is my Net Zero Farming series. And you may see here I'm having a little difficulty with the rock picker here and this small electric tractor. It does okay on these straightaways, but on these hills and turns, it seems to get hung up a bit. Just, uh, just too much weight and uh, power requirements for the rock picker than what this little tractor has. But as you can see here, this field has been plowed. I've uh, gone ahead and done that, as well as the field down below. If we take a look at the map here, this is where we are here, and you'll see here has been plowed. And I've already plowed the lower field there and picked up the rocks there. I'm not running across the entire field. I'm just trying to hit the spots where I can see the rocks. And uh, get those picked up. I've already taken one load of rocks down to the rock crusher. I actually put one of those in. I think it was about $15,000. But I did put that on the farm. So that will create lime from these rocks. So I believe I've got all of the rocks off of this edge of the field here. This is really slow go. Picking these guys up. Uh, what I did the plowing with might actually be surprising. Now let me get to a spot here and we'll take a look. I actually used this ridge track to plow everything. We got at least a little plow and it was this one here this pottinger so I did lease this little pottinger servo 25 plow and ended up using the rigid track it had really no issues it handled that plow exceptionally well uh, other than it just taking a long time I was able to plow up both fields with no problems. As you can see there, I've got stuck here. It tends to dig into the dirt, so I have to lift it up and continue on. There's a little bit tough for this little tractor here. So we're going to continue on picking up these rocks. As soon as I get another full load, bring it back in and we'll head down to the stone crusher and get these unloaded. I did find a bell that was hidden in a spot off of the field. It has rolled across, so we're going to have to bring the front loader up and pick that up. All right, so I believe I have all of the rocks picked up off of this field. Let me take a look here at the map. Yeah, I don't see any of the little dots there. There's a few along the edge there, but we'll not worry about that. You see down on this lower end, I did not plow that up. Uh, that area is just really steep, so I did not want to even attempt at trying to uh, grow crops or getting them harvested off of that hill. So I'm going to leave it grass for now. Go ahead and hop on the road here and head down back to the farm. We'll get these stones unloaded. You see the bell there? has rolled down we're going to have to come back and get that we ease down the mountain here now, I did end up leasing the plow and this rock picker uh, mainly because I did not ex or I hope to not have to plow uh, with a very small tractor like this again hopefully by the time I'm plowing again I'll be able to use something bigger so I did uh, choose to uh, lease that and then also this rock picker uh, these are not the easiest to use so I hopefully will be able to use the uh, bigger one in the future so you see there we've dropped this off. We went ahead and put this 
Rock Crusher Inn over here on the far side of the farm. So if we take a look at the uh, production menu here for this Lime Crusher, uh, you do see we do have... Well, that's interesting. I think I've got gypped. I had put a load of stones in here. But I have nothing. Oh my goodness. Ah, that is why. Because it is not activated. <laughs> okay. So, all the stones are in there. And that is now activated. And will produce some lime for us. And you see this field down here has been plowed. All of the rocks have been picked up. I did get all of the bells in the barn there. And I do believe... Actually, let me go see. I think the blue ones, the blue bells we created, should be very close to... Yeah, they're at 97%. So they'll be ready real soon. Which means we can take those down to the biogas plant and finally use the bigger tractor. So let me get this parked over here. I'll have the shop come and pick it up. All right, so I'm back up here with the... Oh, oh get out of the way there. With the Kramer. We've got this bale that had ro rolled off the field. I'm going to grab it and take it down. I think this is grass, or is it hay? Let's see. Uh, that is just grass. So what I'm going to do is grab it. We're going to head back down. But the lime crusher has already done. Did not take very long at all. So out of all of the rocks that I picked up off the field, you see here I have just shy of 12,000 liters of lime. So that's actually pretty good. Now I would imagine it's going to take more than that to get all of the fields limed. But I'm not real sure. We'll have to uh, see what happens there. It'll be great to not have to buy any lime. Wow, the brakes on this thing don't work a whole lot. I was on the brakes the whole way down that incline there. And I was not slowing down at all. I'm going to just run this over here to the sheep since this is just grass. I'll take it over here. Actually, let me see this. The Do the cows eat grass? Oh, they do. But I'm going to just go ahead and leave it for the sheep. I know that they will eat it eventually. We're just going to drop it over here in their feeding area. All right, so we got that taken care of. Do have a little bit of wool there that has been collected off of the sheep. We have, well, we're up to 332 liters of wool. So the dilemma I'm in now is it is October. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to get anything to grow before it gets too cold. We take a look at the menu here, uh, the calendar. So we are here in October. Wheat and barley I could plant, but those would not be able to be harvested until uh, next summer. But I did want to try and do another round of silage. Uh, but I want to get some grass planted, so I do have a month where it would grow. Or I could possibly plant some oilseed radish, but I don't need to because my fields are fully fertilized. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to plant some grass and see if it will start growing. Uh, but first, we're going to need to get some lime out, so I need to get a lime spreader. 
My problem is I don't know if that tractor will handle any of the lime spreaders. I think it's going to be far too much weight. So let me check and see. Oh, we're at 98%. Well, let me look at the uh, lime spreaders and see what I can do there. May have to end up waiting to take these down and then using the bigger tractor. All right, so I found this small spreader here. It only holds 1,000 liters. I think that I'll be able to use this with a little rigid track. So we're going to give it a, a go here. I'm just going to lease it since I'm not sure if it will work. And it uh, looks like the shop has it here for us. So let's give it a go. We'll uh, back up to this thing. So far, so good. We'll come over to the uh, stone crusher and uh, get this thing filled up. Really, really cool that I've been able to do so much with this little electric tractor. All right, let's see if we can get it filled up here. I'm not sure where I pull, maybe here. Oh, wow, that comes out fast. All right, so I'm gonna focus on this uh, field down here first. And I imagine this thing is gonna spread it out pretty wide. Okay, it is spreading out really wide there. I'm not going to make it very far before I run out. And that's it. So I had almost 12,000 liters, which will be just about 12 of these full. And that took one very quickly. So I don't know how far I'm going to get here. Hopefully this one will get us to the end of the field there, maybe. I think it'll be close. Not gonna make it, I don't think. Nope. All right, one more. Probably two, maybe three more for this entire field. All right, we're here. About to get the last of the lime out of the uh, stone crusher. Taking uh, several loads, quite a few loads, up to the top of the mountain there. And got the lime put out on the field. I think it took almost two, uh, almost four loads there for that bottom field. So had ended up with quite a bit to put up on the uh, top of the farm. But I am going to run short. Uh, the little ridge track has handled the spreader really well but it has just taken much more lime than i had available you can see the field down there is completely done nice view and as we get up here to the top of the mountain here we'll cut through these posts here and head across we've got a little spot here let me lower down the width and before we get going on that we'll take a look we have this one spot left here and then we have all this over here so what i believe i'm going to have to do is get the shop to bring me some lime but what i will have them do is deliver it up here so i don't have to haul it back and forth All right, so we got that done there. Let me uh, get the width all the way open. And we'll finish up this hopper here. All right. Let me make a phone call to the shop. Get some lime delivered. And I'll get this field finished up. All right, just got the lime put out. Ended up with just a little 
leftovers, so decided to bring this over here and drop it off in my bulk storage location. And I've gone ahead and ordered some seeds and a, at least a field roller, which also does seeding. Based on the horsepower requirements, I think that the little ridge track will be able to handle it. So let's find out. Probably got far too many seeds there, but it'll be okay. We'll use them eventually. All right, so I've decided to go ahead and plant grass. Look back here at the calendar. I'm running out of time, but I think we'll be okay. At least get this field done. I don't know if I'll be able to get more than this done today. I'm going to try. So this thing, I'll turn it on. And I've never used this before, but it showed that it would plant seeds. And it appears that it is. And it does appear that the ridge track is struggling just a little bit. But it is working. Uh, grass is being planted. So hopefully this will come up in time to give me a head start next spring. Now this is also a weeder, I believe. So you can use it as a weeder. If I turn on the help menu. Yeah, it is a weeder, but will also plant seeds. So I believe this uh, implement is to run at seven miles an hour. So it looks like it's getting pretty close there with the ridge track. But it is uh, having a little bit of difficulty holding that speed. Well, I ran out of seeds in the uh, cedar there, so figured I'd do this the way I'm supposed to. We'll pick the big bag up here above the cedar and fill it that way. I'm going to have to yeah, use the boom there and extend it out. There we go. And it is full. It only holds 300 liters. So not a whole lot. Nope. Oh, and I guess the big bag is on the ground now. All right, so I'm almost done with this field here. Only have just a couple more passes to go. And uh, this field will be done. It's only uh, about 3.30, almost 3.30 here. So I think that I'll have enough time to at least start on the field up the hill. I think we'll get it done today. Uh, it may be well after dark. But we're going to go ahead and try to get it knocked out and get all of this grass planted and get ready for winter. There's not much time left before it should turn off pretty cold and it'll just be taking care of the animals, I believe. Uh, this was the first time I've used seasons in Farm Sim 22, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out. So we're going to give it a go and see what, what happens. I believe I have enough food for the animals through the winter. And so that should not be an issue. 
So I do appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing and then click that bell so that you'll be notified of all future content. As always, I thank y'all for watching and uh, we'll see you back here next time.